Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy AG Plays, and today we have a 300k overpowered squad builder. But first things first, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share the video, man. Today I have an overpowered squad builder for you lot, and this team as it stands, you lot are gonna see in this video is going to get me to division two, but I'm doing the voiceover after recording. This team has actually got me to Division 1 now. And you see the man between the sticks, Castiles. I mean, cheap goalkeeper, 6'6". Six six. Similar to Nick Pope. And the reason I say that is because, you know, he's quite tall. But he is very, very, very good. And this team is built up of a lot of players I've come up against. A lot of players I've used where I've said, you know what? These guys are just too good. I have to stop trying to avoid them i have to just use them you see at right back we have Mbappe. you already know what he's on you can see one of the center backs there but hey you see this guy la croix la croix la croix oh my gosh this guy and his partner at the back oh my they are they are superb they are superb as in you can't go wrong with them this guy is amazing. That 88 pace is real. You, you actually feel the fact that he's that fast. And his centre-back partner, Fresnel Kimpembe. I mean, this guy. I don't know about you lot. I've played this guy way too many times. And he's just locked up my attackers way too many times. So I said, you know what? I need this on my team. I need a guy on my team who's going to be quick. He's going to be strong. He's going to be able to pass the ball well. And... All in all, he's going to be able to defend well against anyone. And you guys are going to see in this video, he is amazing. At like, I can't express that enough. you got Nuno Mendes at left back. You know, we need that strong link to Kimpembe. And then he's in there because of the sentiment we have. So, for me, he's been really good. You know, probably the cheapest player. Yeah, by far the cheapest player in this team. But he's been brilliant. My favourite midfielder in the, in the game so far. Gini Wijnaldum. I swear to you lot, I will stand by this guy to the very end. This guy is the best midfielder I have used in the game because he can do everything. He can shoot, he can pass, he can dribble, he can defend. Now with the shadow, he's got the pit. He's, he's amazing. He's the best midfielder in the game for me by far. By far, there is not a midfielder better than him. You can't tell me there is. You can't. Whether you need him to play as a DM, whether you need him to play as a box-to-box, -box, even as a 10, he can play there. I'm telling you lot. He will not let you down. This man, Bernardo Silva. Now, I know a couple of you are probably looking at it saying, why the hell is Bernardo Silva in this team? Trust me. This guy is not what he's not one to be played with. Trust me on that. This guy is not a joke. You see the agility this man's got? The dribbling. Oh, no, 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 no. I have to let you lot see the footage because you might not believe me when I'm saying all this stuff. This guy is a demon. That like, he actually is. He's got the 93 stamina. And this is the good thing about this midfield. You guys are going to see the final midfielder. 93 stamina. 93 stamina. The final midfielder here. Frankie De Jong. 90 stamina. They can all pass well. They can all dribble well. They can all... They all have good stamina. And that's very important in this game. Being able to pass the ball. Having good short passes. Is very, very important in this game. Because a lot of times when you play passes. If the player's passing isn't the best. The ball will be intercepted. That's just how it goes. Literally. The ball will be intercepted or he'll just play a very wayward pass and it's just frustrating to play with you know what i mean on the left wing if bernardo there's only one that man that can be there come on you you lot if you lot are new to the channel man we got a serious jack Grealish. he's not leaving till the very end of fifa jack Grealish will not leave this team he owns that left wing spot so we had his normal card but we went and invested in the ones to watch Grealish. we were like you know what if he's never gonna leave the club he might as well get his ones to watch like it's only right it's only right we get the ones to watch because, I mean, he's never leaving. And I'm sure at City he will get a couple upgrades. Even if it's just two upgrades, I think that should be fine. Because I like him personally. So, for me, he works. This guy right here, oh my god. I can't, exp like, I can't say this enough. This guy is actually, he's amazing. He's so overpowered. Like, Lacroix, Mbabu, Kimpembe, calm. You know what they're on. This guy is being slept on. I'm telling you right now. Memphis Depay is one of the most overpowered players in this game. When I first went to buy him, I had my question marks. I wasn't too sure about him. But the more I've used him, the more I've seen. This guy is a menace to society. He is not a joke. And obviously, there's only one man that can be at right wing. 
That's Usman Dembele. You already know what he's on. The five star skills, the five star weak foot. He's got 56 games played. I packed him. I was using him as a super sub at the time. Now he's broken into the starting 11. The only downside with him is his stamina. That 68 stamina is a bit of a problem. I will, I will be honest with you. Late in games, I will sub him off and I'll bring on Adama Traore just for that, you know, that extra pace late in the game. But this is how the team's looking right now. And I'm telling you lot, this team is serious. This team has taken me from Division 3 to Division 1. Just let that sink in. This, this team right here, I've played so many pro players, so many. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. I've actually played so many pro players. I mean that, like... This team is able to compete with the likes of, you know those teams you see when they've got Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, Mbappe. It's able to compete with them and win. Not just compete and, like, you know, stay for a draw. Or you lost but you played well. I'm talking, we're facing pros and we're beating them. And I mean that. We're facing pros and we're beating them. I think in this video, you're going to see... Is it this video? It might be the next video when I'm going to Division 1. You guys, make sure you, make sure you hit the post notification bell. Please, because in the next video, you lot are going to see this team take me to Division 1. So, this, this one here is just, you know, the squad builder. For you to see how the team plays, you guys are currently seeing the formations I run with the team. This is a new formation for me, the false nine. And this this has quickly, very quickly become my number one formation. It's become my go-to formation. Like, for some reason, this just works for me. I know not everyone plays the same. I know not everything's going to work the same for you that it would for me and vice versa but for me this formation this false nine formation yeah obviously it depends on the striker you have as well for me because i'm using memphis he's more a center forward he's not really a striker striker it works so well then you can use usman in behind Grealish in behind or Grealish come to feet like it, it's all about your playing style you know what i mean it's all about your playing style and right now the boys are really doing their job i mean when i first built this team I wasn't too sure of how good it could end up being. I was more on the vibe of, you know what, let me put these let me put these players together. Let me see how well they actually do. I knew it would be good, but I didn't know how good it would be. But boy, oh boy, can I say this team has not disappointed. I mean, come on. This this team right here on the screen has taken me from Division 3 to Division 1. Like, if, if you lot don't want to trust, <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say. Division 3 to Div 1. That's big. First game with the team you guys can see. Memphis. He's on it. Hey. Oh. Frankie Dion gets it back. Memphis. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. Yeah. Yeah. Memphis Depay. I told you lot. He is so broken. And this guy tries to come at us very, very quickly. But who's there? Presnel Kimpembe. Presnel Kimpembe. He's there to sort it out. Clean up. This opponent was actually quite good. I think this is when we're going from Div 3 to Div 2. And look, I'm backing off because I'm trying to understand how he's going to play. You know, I don't want to I don't want to dive in too much and then leave another man open. So, you know, when you play these games, you've got to be very cautious. You've got to take time. You can't just rush into challenges because that's how you get exposed. But we get opened up here. Luckily, we've got Nuno Mendes there. Genie on the ball. He finds Bernardo. Bernardo's with it. Bernardo's with it. He sees Usman. Usman versus Militao. Depay, hold it up. Well done. We've got it here with Genie Wijnaldum. Look at that. Straight to Depay. That's two. Come on, man. You can't play with this boy. You can't play with this boy, Depay. He is different gravy. I'm telling you that from now. If you guys, even if you guys have certain players in the team where you're like, you know what, I'm not too sure about him. Memphis Depay is one of the players you have to get. He's so overpowered and he's cheap as well. He's like 11K. You can't go wrong with that. You actually can't. And it's a, it's a 300k squad builder, but everyone's open to, you know, having certain plays that work for them. The same way I have Grealish, Grealish might not work for you. You might go for a Sterling, who might cost more, but he might be better for you. Do you know what I mean? And we're on the ball here. Bernardo gets dispossessed. Carrasco. And then look at who steps in. Mbabu. He says, give me that. Give me that. Genie. Lovely pass. Splits the two. Memphis. Frankie. And I'm telling you, this team works so well because the midfielders all have good stamina and they can all pass the ball really, really well. So you don't have to ever worry about a pass going wayward. Do you know what I mean? Quite a tight game right now. Two shots each. But I've managed to take my chances. 
he's if I was on the other end of this game, I'd be pretty pissed off if I'm being honest. We've both had two shots. He's probably looking at it like, why haven't I been able to score? And he has. And then he goes through and does this. Usman Dembele. I know how dangerous he can be, and I, I should have been aware of that. I shouldn't have let him get that close with Usman, but you know it happens. It happens in FIFA. And we go on to end the game winning 2-1. Look at this now. I thought FIFA shagged him. I thought FIFA shagged him there, but I realised he was actually offside with Lukaku. You guys, if you want, pause the video, rewind and go look at it. Lukaku was actually offside there. So initially, I was thinking, wow, FIFA just violated this guy. But they didn't. Second game. You guys are probably looking at that team saying, nah, man, this, this, is, a, this is a landslide. Bro, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what this guy was. I don't know who he was. This guy was good. This guy was good. And I don't know what he had going on with his team. Look, this is early in the game. This is straight off kickoff. If Lacroix wasn't there, boy, we could have been one or done already. Early in the game, he's applying real pressure, man. Look at this. He's he's popping me. I got lucky there. He hit the post. I got very lucky, I'll be honest. When I was playing this game, yeah, I was literally on the edge of my seat. Like, I had to really lean forward and concentrate. We got Bernardo on the ball. Look at that close dribbling, that close control dribbling. Genie, look at that. Like, Sometimes they have good passing, but sometimes the game's animations just don't help you at all. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes the game can just do some things that just really frustrate you. But we got Bernardo there. He finds Memphis. Memphis! That's a good save from the keeper, to be honest. I probably should have chipped it. Probably should have chipped it there. 36th minute. He's on us. Look, you're going to see what the midfielders do. Frankie De Jong steps in, wins that. He's going to come back at us, yeah? He's going to come back at us. Look, Genie's there. Kimpembe's there. This team, like, I don't know what it is. They're just, um, uh, lads, they are brilliant. I can't express this enough. This team is brilliant. And you guys are going to see in the next video I have out, in the next couple of days, how well this team really plays when we get when we get on our way to Division 1. Now, like, honestly, this team is not a joke. And look, his place, his pass, sorry, goes behind his player we go on a counter now and watch this in this position what do you do do you sweat it back stick me i don't do that with usman i cut in and i smash it i got that much faith in usman i'm not even thinking about the sweat i'm always looking to cut in and smash it near post most i know most of you guys would have played that one across the box then maybe sweat it back again play that man city centurions football when they had sterling and sani on the wings look at this pass now look look at look at this save ah oh! What a save. And bearing in mind, this is the game that's going to take me to Division 2. If I win this game, I get into Division 2. And he's on the counter now. Kevin and Babu deal with Cliver. He can't deal with him. He plays a nice through ball. Look at that. How does that go past? Castiles with a big save. Now, I look at this team and, you know, when you first make teams, you first couple games, you sense weaknesses. You look at players and look, again, a big save from Castiles. That's a big save. I know certain keepers, <coughs> Ariola, would have let that in. But we end up taking the dub. Look at the goal again. Yeah, bye. Leaves that defender. Now, look, we win 1 0 against Cliver Objective. And look at that. The team has taken us to Div 2. That's a solid three game win streak. Solid. Solid. We're in Div 2 now. And I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys. Keep your eyes peeled for the next video because honestly, you guys are going to see some real football in that next video. I promise you, like honestly, this team, it surprised me how good it actually played on the road to Division 1. Like I was coming up against some serious, serious teams. I played a, a lot of pro players as well and we, oh my gosh. I can't wait for you guys to see the next video. I hope you enjoyed the squad builder. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell and share the video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of the team. If you are going to make the team, if you're going to make any adjustments, bring in your own players, let me know. And with that, we're out. Peace.